you get it, you get it. What's up, my cherry bombs? Welcome or welcome back, everyone. My name is Abby, and on this channel, we talk about fragrances. Anything that has to do with smelling good, feeling good, that's what we talk about. And if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel because that's the only way you can join the Cherry Bombs. By the title of the video, you already know what's about to get down, so we're not going to hold y'all. Let's just get right into it. Today, we're going to be talking about my go-to layering combos. Basically, the best layering combos for the summertime, okay? So if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, let's go right into it. Now, you guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. This is a mixture of niche and designer, okay? There's some niche, there's some designer. Most of them is designer. So the niche that I am sharing with you guys are staples. So let's go ahead and start off with the first layering combo. One that I talk about first is the one that I layer down first because honestly, the fragrance can change depending on which one you layer down first. But me, I tend to layer down the one that's stronger and put the one that's lighter on there because I kind of want the lighter one to amplify more. So I put the one with a stronger base, with a stronger longevity on first. So the first fragrance layering combo I want to talk to you about is one that I like to call a tropical lemonade. The reason why, because this is just giving me tropical vibes, it's giving me summer vibes, it's giving me all of that and more. So the first fragrance that I like to layer down is one from Mancera. It is Mancera's Jardin Exclusive. Now Jardin Exclusive have a ton of notes, but the ones that reach out to me the most is the red berries, the white peach, caramel, and the orange. Now, all of those notes are basically at the top, but what you smell at the top is what you get throughout the whole fragrance. You do get ambergris and vanilla in this fragrance, but throughout the whole fragrance, you get notes from the top, the mid, which is the florals and roses, and then in the base, you get all that woody and sandal creaminess, all of that good stuff, the vanilla and stuff. Now, when I put this down, I was just like, oh, this is so good. This is so sweet. To me, it was a little bit too sweet the specific day that I wanted to wear it. So I was thinking, I'm like, what should I put on this so that I can tone down the sweetness and get more of a fresher feel? So I was like, duh, Dolce and Cabana Light Blue is the perfect one because it has those citruses, it has the apples. And when you put these two together because they do have green apple and it has all those other citruses, for me, I get the prettiest fruity cocktail, like a fruity lemonade. Like imagine you're putting not regular lemonade with peach and stuff like that. I'm talking about like lemonade with mango, passion fruit, um, oranges and berries, like just a really exotic tropical lemonade. It is super, super refreshing with the light blue, but then you get the sweetness and the exotic notes with the Jardin Exclusive. These two paired together is mind blowing. So if you happen to have Jardin Exclusive with light blue, then definitely layer them together. Now a dupe of Jardin Exclusive, if you guys didn't know, it's all her main amber oud gold. So if you happen to have that in your collection, you could definitely layer it with light blue. This next laying combo girl is the one that I use when I just want to be very fresh and just fresh because there's days here in Florida that it gets really hot. Like today, the, high, the heat index was 110 and I actually wore this combo and it pierced through the heat really well. It was really good and it didn't feel cloying on me and it did not feel like I was choking. And that's the type of vibes that I like when it is super, super hot. And the first fragrance that I layer down is Balenciaga Flora Botanica. Now you guys know that this has mint, it has cannabis, it has rose, it has vetiver, amber, and carnation in it. And what really pulls on my skin the most is the minty vibes, the cannabis vibe, but the cannabis gives it like a a floral the carnation gives it like a floral vibe too and then the amber in this fragrance to me is kind of powdery so i really wanted to wear this fragrance but in the dry down it gets a little bit powdery and floral so i was like nah i kind of want that tartiness and that sweetness and that aromatic animalic type of vibe from it throughout the whole wear so i was thinking i'm like what can i put on with this and then i went ahead and grabbed Dolce and Cabana light blue. Now this pair together gives me like a green apple type of vibe. Now you know this has um, citruses and green apple in it. And of course this has the mint 
and the um, musky, ambery notes in it. So pair these together. You have the perfect fragrance for the summertime, especially in the dry heat or when it's humid. It is perfect. I really like these two specifically because it did not, and I mean, it did not feel heavy on the skin or cloning and it did not bother me. I did smell good all day long, you guys. Smelled good all day long, but I did not have no issue with my fragrance making me want to choke. Because imagine, it's already 110 degrees outside. Why do you want to put on a fragrance that's going to choke you out? You know what I'm saying? So this is the perfect layering combo for summer. All right, you guys. So I did say this is a summer's list, but don't, you know, don't get too alarmed when you see this layering combo. This is the one that I wear for a date night. Now, like I said, it's 110 degrees. Well, the index is 110, so it's like 102 today. So let's say my husband say, let's get dressed, we're going out. You know that the weather do cool down. It does cool down during the nighttime. So if it was like 102 degrees today between the um, temperatures of 80, 82, 83 during the nighttime, which is not too bad. It's still hot, but it's not too bad. And when I think of a really nice um, date night fragrance and I want to layer this is good. So let me just go ahead and share the fragrance, right? The first fragrance that I put down first was Kayali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. Now, I wanted to smell sexy, y'all. I did. I really did. So don't come after me. I really wanted to smell sexy, but then when I sprayed this on, it's, it's after I sprayed it, I was like, oh yeah, this is a strong, beastly fragrance. And to me, it gives that oud vibe. And it's a dense, sweet rose fragrance. So I was like, how can I calm this down for it to be appropriate for the movie theaters with my husband? So I layered it with Flora Botanica, you guys. I know this and that was probably not one that you probably would think of, but trust me, baby, this smells amazing. Now, the rose in this fragrance combined with this rose and carnation makes it beautiful. If you layer this down first and you put this on top, it tones down the um, the sweetness and the denseness and make it a little bit more fresher. And then it adds that little powdery feel to it that makes this fragrance amazing. So if you ever want to wear this during the springtime in, or the summertime and you don't know how to wear it, try layering it with Flora Botanica. So the next combo is one that I wanted to wear for the whole day. Like I was looking for a day-to-day -day fragrance and for the past couple of days around the time when I found out about this um, layering combo, I was wanting something very signature scent, vibey, like something that I can wear three days in a row and not get tired of it, which is a signature scent. And then I still wanted to add some sweetness to it. Now, I didn't want too much, but I wanted it to have a little bit more sweetness. So I was like, okay, let me just go ahead with my go-to, Chloe Nomad. So I put this down first. And then I was like, yes, Chloe Nomad has that sharpness. It has those fruits. It has those florals, but I just want a little bit more sweetness. Pink sugar, and it satisfied what I was looking for. Now this one, you know it has rose, jasmine, peach, and all those citruses, maribel, bergamot, lemon in the top. It didn't have that much sweetness. Like in the base, you do get the musk, but I wanted some sweetness. And I was like, well, since this has caramel, it has sugar, it has all of those good notes. If I spray my whole body with this and add like two to three sprays of this, not over, powering it will be the best fragrance right so i was thinking i'm like okay let me go ahead and do it i'm like it's not gonna work citrus is at the top tone this down and when i tell y'all if you're looking for a signature scent for every day and you like sweetness but you don't want something that's too sweet layer these two together spray your regular sprays like me i'm over spray so i'll be like 15 to 20 sprays and then spray this for like maybe two to three sprays and let me tell you all something you will smell really really good this layering combo got me three compliments that day and i literally was just running errands you guys so if you're looking for that signature scent but you want to amp it up a little bit with some sweetness then definitely try chloe nomad and pink sugar so this next combo is one that i found out when i was going to bed i wanted something very fresh and calming but i wanted to add some sweetness into it so usually when i go to bed i would go ahead and spray on libre edt but that specific day i wanted to be calm so i sprayed libre edt then when i was sitting there i was like, okay this is good but then the way the night was going i was like, okay this night looked like it's about to go good you know 
If you get it, you get it. So I was like, let me go ahead and add something a little bit more sexier. That's not too heavy, but that's still going to linger around all night long, right? So I was like, what can that be? And then I decided to put on a couple sprays of cloud. And when I tell you guys that lavender mixed with this coconut sugar type of vibe that's going on in cloud, breathtaking. I really love these two together. I love them on their own, but together they're really pretty. This is a go-to scent of the night for me whenever I am wanting to calm down but still feel a little bit sexy it is a really good layering combo so if you're trying to be calm with the lavender and you wanted to add a little bit more of a sugary playful feel to the fragrance then go ahead and add cloud and cloud will definitely make you feel like you're on clouds so this next combo is one that i like to wear when i'm not feeling the best and i need a little pick me up and i have errands to run like y'all know those days when y'all know y'all don't feel good or when y'all monthly comes on and you have to run errands because the world doesn't stop you gotta cook for the kids you gotta cook for the husband or the partner or whoever it is right and you're just like, okay, well, let me just get up and go. This layering combo really gives me that energy and that push to go, right? I first go ahead and layer Libre EDT. It's lavender and more lavender, right? I was just like, okay, this is not doing enough for me. The Libre EDT wasn't doing enough. So I was like, what can I add to make it a little bit better, right? And then I walked in here and I was just like, okay, what fragrance could I do? And that's how I usually find my um layering combos when i feel like the fragrance is just not giving me what i needed to give it at that specific moment then i layer it then i looked at this bottle and i was like okay let me just go ahead and try this I, i'm just probably not gonna work let me go ahead and try it zara's ebony woods and you can see i wear this i layer it a lot when i layered these two together instantly i was like oh my god this is not gonna work but i was like i already got it on so i'm gonna just continue spraying when I walked into the living room, my husband was watching TV. He said, you okay, babe? And I said, before I could even say yeah, he was like, ooh, babe, you smell good. And I was just like, yeah. He's like, what is that? I'm like, ebony wood layered with um, Lee Brady tea. And he was like, yes, I like that. I like that a lot. And I was like, really? He said, yes. Something about it is just, just giving me vibes. So I guess the ebony with the clove and the pink pepper mixed with the lavender just did it for him. And it did come off a little bit more masculine. I think maybe that's why he liked it. I think it was the clove and the pink pepper that woke up my senses. And I was just ready to go. And that day did get a little bit better than it usually is. So this is another weird combo but it just works <laughs> all right guys for this combo this is probably one of my favorite ones now this is the combo that i wear when i'm feeling happy when i'm feeling sexy and i just want to be bold and i want people to smell me from a mile away this is what I wear. Now, the first fragrance, I wear it when I want to be seen because this one comes with a punch and it is from Swiss Arabian and it is Swiss Arabian's Casablanca. Now, you guys know that this has the caramel, the apple. It's just like such a pretty vanilla cake type of sweet fragrance. It's so pretty, a little powdery. It's just that girl type of fragrance, right? So one day I was just like, okay, let me go ahead and layer it with some citrus and some tartiness and i was like what fragrance do i have that has that then i thought about it i thought about it and i was like light blue by dolce and cabana you guys if you don't try any combo from this list these two are a must-have like literally these two are good i love these two together this is my go-to layering combo to be honest whenever i'm wearing casablanca and y'all could see that this don't really have a dent in it because it is just that strong. It don't matter how much or how less I spray, it is that strong. Now, when I first bought this fragrance, people already warned me how strong it was. So I sprayed it behind my kneecap. When I tell you I was just walking around with a cloud 
on me when I tell you it's just that strong. So this is not for the weak at all. If you're looking for a really great fragrance to layer with and you're now getting into layering, Casablanca is really the one to go to. I really love these layering combos and I hope you guys love them too. Comment down below if you have some weird um, layering combos like I do because I know these two are weird. But go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you're liking. I'm gonna list everything in the description box below for you guys to shop. That's another way to support this family. And another way to support this family is to join the family by clicking the subscribe button and turning on your notification bell. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much, Cherry Bombs. And until we see each other again, please, 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 please stay safe. Keep on smelling fragrances. Bye. <laughs>